So this short video is put together to uh, show one of the intuitive uh, utilities that we use for configuration management when we're uh, developing between multiple Delta V systems. Uh, the document uh, that we produced to uh, show some of the issues with Delta V configuration management is available at this link here and uh, it's available by clicking here. The tool that uh, we're demonstrating anyway is associated with uh, the automatic uh, archiving or capture of the import and export logs. Um, this is uh, it's quite important to keep and store the import logs so that you can always go back and determine what and, uh, what's been for <laughs> what's happened on the systems, uh, what you've imported, what you've exported, uh, so that if there is any issues highlighted, um, then you can go back and you can uh, determine why and uh, what the impact is. So anyway, the document section is about import logs and if we go to the back of the document, the tool that we're going to look at is the uh, Delta V FHX uh, Import Export Progress Log Capture. So uh, now we'll go on to demonstrate the tool. A little uh, scenario where we've got uh, perhaps four engineers working in different locations in the UK. Uh, or each with a, a Delta V standalone system uh, developing uh, configuration for a, a reactor. Now there's four reactors. So uh, what I'm looking at at the moment is uh, engineer number one, let's call them. Um, and they're developing reactors, uh, reactor one, two, three, four uh, configuration. So they've, they've created this uh, reactor unit and they've created four or five uh, analog control modules and so they want to now send this to the uh, the master development system which we keep in the intuitive offices so uh, what they're going to do is uh, export each of these items individually and then send it to uh, the main office for import so what we what happens when you do a, an export I'll just show you if we export this uh, to uh, it typically it automatically goes to the import export folder in the uh, in the working directory of uh, Delta V okay now what he's going to do is export them into a folder called uh, R1234 modules so we'll save that and what you'll see is that's actually created a it's updated or created a file called import export progress log which lives in the uh, DV data root folder and if we look into that it actually shows what was in the export uh, just there so it's exported that module there okay now we really want to save that import log because when Delta V does the next one that will get overwritten so uh, typically what we would uh, recommend is you to take a copy of the log file and then store it in the folder that we just exported to so it's kept in a associated location uh, or did I not control C on that? it would appear not which is a shame there we go so we'll copy that and we'll put it into that import export folder that we've Okay, so I can paste that in there. Now you can see it's got a generic name, so uh, we, if we then wanted to do the next module and keep a, a log of that, then we'd have to rename this. Now we recommend that you open up the log, make sure it is associated with this, and then name it as per the uh, item name, so in this case. And this just allows the sorting order to uh, come together so you'd get the, um, the the log file associated with the mod the FHX export file and we'd carry on and do this uh, export uh, save that and then we'd go back to the import export folder close that sorry the DV data root folder just here go, there's another one, we'll copy that and we shall uh, take that to our 
import export folder, that folder, store it there, and open that up and see that it's for that module, so we copy that out. Copy that. And then we rename this file to that. And so on. We do this uh, many times. Imagine that uh, activity uh, for every export and copying the file from the import export log to this folder and then uh, repeating that many times is quite a tedious task and uh, because it's tedious well people tend to uh, overlook the task or uh, if they're in a hurry they won't do the task so um, to aid that process Intuitive uh, created a tool which uh, automates that tedious type of process and we've called it the Intuitive Import Export Archiver uh, so I shall just run that utility. Uh, it's got a form which uh, has this format. It also has a little icon in the uh, taskbar down here. So, well, it, it pretty much uh, automates the process I've just shown. So, if we now perform an export here uh, and to the same folder what you should see is that uh, it's copied across the import export file automatically it's the one that's just been created uh, and it's stored it in the location where the FHX file was uh, and we'll do that for the next module and you should see that appear for that module and the same here I'll export that and uh, and we get some status information it shows that it's an export file uh, it shows the date that it was performed uh, if you did export that module again twice let's just show you this so we'll overwrite the previous version. Uh, it will actually create a second export file, a uh, log file. So there we go. Again, it's timestamped, so you can see what's happened. Okay. So that's the export uh, activity. Now that really just allows you to uh, easily identify what's in the export. So it will show that there's an AI function block in there. There's a plant area there's a, a unit with that name and there's the module so you can take these export files and logs and create, create a nice inventory of what you've uh, delivered to uh, to the gatekeeper at the other system so now we're at the uh, master development system and uh, we haven't got any reactor configuration in here we've received the information uh, the, the, the configuration from our engineers our remote engineers and we need to put all of that information into the master database so what I'm going to do is uh, we've got the same tool running again uh, now this again is quite a tedious task it's the same same process storing the import for progress log but uh, what I shall show here then is uh, we've got all of the deliverables from our four engineers who have configured the four reactors okay so we're now going to import those to our master system and we want this is probably more important than the export uh, logs because this will show what's happened during the import uh, if anything untowards happened so um, what I'm going to do well Delta V is actually quite good now because it allows you to drag and drop from an FHX straight into uh, there so th this task is quite easy you can take uh, each of the import files or export files and drop it onto there now we typically do know to I'm going to do note to, to all here uh, we won't go through that but there's some more information in that in the guidance notes so uh, what you find is that uh, that's now automatically created the uh, copy the import export folder from that import uh, and it shows that we've done no to also it's skipping existing configurations in the system it's skipped the AI type uh, but it shows you what it's added okay so that's uh, one import we then need to do the next import so let's take this in uh, and you 
it should say new import export uh, log file up here. Yes, there it is. And again, this time we said no to all, so it's not like added the unit because the unit was added during the previous, the first import we did just then. But it has added the new module, so it's just keeping track of what we're actually doing at each point, uh, and it's just making that process so much easier than the, if you're having to do all these keep these log files manually. So uh, again, let's do that. We should get a new, there it is, it's just appeared. Now we'll do the final two. We should have seen the MU import file be created for that, which it has. And then uh, we shall do this one here, the last. So I'm the as the master uh, gatekeeper of this development system. I've now got a full uh, record of what I've imported into the system, and these five import progress logs, the IMP files, uh, are stored in the same location as the FHX files, the import FHX files. Uh, and there we go. I've created the, the modules in this new system. So, um, and this would just go on and on. Um, this is from Engineer Two. They were doing react the second reactor two three four five. So let's just show what that process just uh that's created the import file there. Same again. PI no tool. show that it is actually storing the contents of the most recent uh, import. Uh, and again it shows that we've added TI2345 uh, and it is associated with the import file that we brought in. So I think, uh, I hope that uh, the demonstration has been useful. Uh, it's an invaluable tool we use and it uh, just makes configuration management that much easier. Um, and if you've been like uh, you're interested, then please get along to the Intuitive website and uh, get in touch. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.